previously on Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Oh good, oh I, I'm sorry, I thought that was gonna be a good ending. Oh, I'm so shocked. Oh, fuck this game. Fuck this fucking game. And now back to the crying. Hello, this is Nico B. Back with some more Book of Shadows. When we last left off, I kept freaking dying. And you know, and it, it was it was bullshit dying. And it, but it was a, a different kind of bullshit dying. You know, like there's there's that one kind of bullshit dying where like in Masao, where a fucking foam will cause me to scare myself and jump into a wall. But those those bullshits die. I'm it, I'm just done in like a matter of like five seconds. I get game over and I can load right back where I was. No, in this one, when you get a bullshit death, you better you gotta sit down, buckle up, and watch your freaking life get slowly ripped to pieces. God, it was just dreadful. One after the other, again and again. Uh, so anyway, I thought, okay, it's gotta be the fact that I ran away instead of staying. But apparently, staying also causes me to get brutally murdered. So, <laughs> uh, one of you guys actually told me what to do. Thank you for that, seriously. And th in this case, I know normally I'm like, I'm like, don't tell me what to do or something like that, but... You know, of course, unless I'm getting brutally murdered, but... <laughs> so this is this is exactly the best time to tell me what the hell to do. But apparently... Oh, shit, did I just go the wrong way? Oh, no, there it is. What? You just gotta hit me. Why the hell is the girl's room on the second floor and the boy's room is on the first floor? It kind of sucks. I kind of feel bad for the girls. I mean, come on, they're f girls have got a smaller bladder anyway. And anyway, uh, I have to run up the stairs. So you guys, so you told me uh, I gotta use the wind-up key that I got from that one person to use that to open this door. Of course. Cause I mean, what the? Now that I think about it, though, I mean, look at these doors are made of like shitty-ass moldy plywood or something. I mean. And there's a hole in it. Is it like a freaking doorknob? I mean, I just didn't even exist. Can I just don't? Aren't these doors you should like? I can just pull it open, or like SWAT team kick it? Can't Fukuro do shit? I, I may not sound like Sean Connery, but I definitely. <laughs> I may sound like Sean Connery, but I definitely don't act like Sean Connery. No, you don't, you little fucker. All right. Sorry for being sad. Blah 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 blah. <sighs> Maybe we can see inside. Fuck the no. Must be some purpose to this hole, I wonder. Insert wind-up key. Insert penis. <laughs> Stand out of the way, Masuki. I got this shit. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm pulling my pants down. Using my, <laughs> using my penis, I will open the door. Wow, you're so, <laughs> you're so talented, Fukuroi. Damn right I am. <laughs> now stand back. It's massive. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Working on a hunch, I took the wind-up key from my pocket and tried to stick it in the hole. You know, why is it, and I'm gonna, shouldn't the little girl be in there? Surprisingly, it was a perfect fit. And when I, then I tried turning it, it was just a little bit of force, it spun 180 degrees to the right, and produced a, lo a loud click. This is a fancy wooden bathroom doors. I guess it wasn't a wind-up toy after all, then. Seems like I flushed, uh, oh shit, <laughs> this girl. Seems like I flushed some guy's switch. I hate when they do that, they show the guy, and then it's like, oh wait, it's the girl, it's the girl. Switch. Doesn't seem like anything changed, though. Wait, look at the hole! Oh, it's a, it's not to open the door. As if on cue, a single hairline stream of blood began oozing out from behind the wind-up key. Oops. Slowly wended, wended its way down the door and formed a gloppy pool at its base. The whole room then filled with a pungent odor all at once. Oh shit, did we, did we just stab that little girl again in the eye? Oh man, hasn't she been through enough already? The spell seems. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Oh shit! Every man for himself. Get out of my way, you bitch! Ah! Another earthquake. What did you call me? Oh, I didn't say anything. I think it's over. That scared the crap out of me. This little building is run down enough. There's no telling but it'll just up and collapse. Yeah, we need to hurry up and find our way out of here. Time to get the fruit out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. Okay, so... What did I just do? Usually I should show something on the map. Uh... The reference.
if I'm unlocked, maybe you now. Oh, it's stopping me here. Hey, is it just me or was there a gap in the floor here before? Oh, okay. Or the earthquake shifted things around, though you expect there to be more gaps after an earthquake, not fewer. It's one of those reverse earthquakes where shit, like, comes back up again. There's definitely something wrong with this place. Oh, the music start. Dude, it was, it was a weird name when I was, like, the lack of music in this whole time. Oh, here we go. The exit door is rattling with with the rain and wind. Seems like a perfectly normal, perfectly openable door now. Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Ah, uh, for real luck! I think we get outside! Oh, thank God. Sweet freedom! Freedom! I don't know, but Slenderman's outside. Ah, oh, fuck him. I'll fuck him up. Hey, come on. Bring it on, you bitch. I'll... <laughs> I'll take him! <laughs> That'd be a great battle. Sean Connery versus Slender. Aunt Mayu, are you in here? No, there's another dead person. I better go masturbate to it real quick. No, no luck. Where could you be? Nothing in body. What in the world's going on in this school? Maya mustn't be left by herself in a horrible place like this. No, she's at least with Miss Yui and Rashida. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to control this little bastard now. I'm just going to get him killed. I think it's the most logical thing for me to do. Oh, I can't. Whoa! What the hell is that? Because of course that only just started to decay. Seems to be a junior high school girl. From looks of it, she was cut completely in half using some sort of edged instruments. Oh, is that the girl from earlier? They got her legs cut off? How awful. To cut someone in two, spy and all. I'm sick to find Katana to pull that off. Either that or some form of machinery. Uh, either one sounds delicious. The blood spray is primary on this side, so I guess she was attacked from the front. Eh, what's this? And there's a notebook partially jutting out from her pocket. Oh, okay. I was gonna say partially jutting out from her flayed stomach. There's one of those cat themed spiral notebooks. It's all the rage with teenagers these days. Yeah, it's got Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. <laughs> there may be information here relevant to escaping the hell. Apologize. Oh, shit. It's Sim talking. But I actually intruded this, but I feel I must take a look. I have no idea why we've been trapped here. But at least we're all together. Mr. Goto's presence makes us all a little more at ease. Without an adult around, I don't think we could handle any of this. Mr. Goto seems more anxious than we are. He says he'll make sure we all get home safely. But his temperament just keeps getting worse. He's usually so cool, but lately he's gotten kind of scary. Hiroko, Arisa, and the others are really getting fed up with him. <laughs> keeps jumping out from behind bookcases. Booga booga booga! Ah, 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 ah. Mr. Kota, this is not funny! Shut up. <laughs> Grow up, screw sense of humor, you little shit. Let's, Mr. Kota, we're all gonna die! Ah, whatever. We all gotta die eventually. But I'm only 13! <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> Shut up. Thirteen, thirteen years is plenty. Their kids in Haiti are lucky to see five. Mr. Goto is so unfair. He keeps playing favorites with Hiroko. That was the last of our food, too. Man, now we're going to have to kill another one of our friends. And I'm the one who stopped Hiroko and Noriko from fighting. Mr. Mr. Goto is dead. No help here, it seems. Aren't there any other clues to be found? Hey, you got a hey, you got any information for me? Ah, <laughs> uh, look at me talking to corpses. I must be losing my crazy mind. How strange though that I come face to face with dead. Not bad an eye. Perhaps my sense of fear has gone numb. Or maybe I'm just becoming more crazy. Until not long ago, this girl was just like me, reading, thinking, leaving, living her life. But now look at her, nothing but a foul smile, smelling pile of meat, mm-mm. Such a pretty face, but before long, the face is going to rot, and not a soul will ever want to look at her again. Uh. Are you there? What are you doing? 
No, nothing of substance. Strand find clues to my situation here. What the hell just talked to me? Oh, it's that dude. Oh, alright. I just heard a voice over here and it got me wondering. Yeah, he's got his camera too. So good, Taguchi's the name. As you can see, I'm a cameraman. Though not the artistic kind who's planning on hitting the indie film circuits or anything. I came here to get footage for a special report, but I got separated from my boss along the way. How about you? Yeah, I got myself lost in the school building. I'm presently searching for a friend. Uh-oh, you don't mean that girl on the ground over there, do you? No, I was just in the middle of masturbating to her, so if you don't mind... Oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's alright. Anyway, I've never met her before. Oh, that's good. Well, gotta, I guess. Anyway, I'm ask your name and the name of the friend you're looking for, too, while I'm at it. I'm Sakura Sakatara Mishrige, and the girl I'm looking for is named Mayu Suzumoto. She's short, smiles a lot, and has a generally cheerful countenance, really. And I imagine if I, she exploded into a thousand pieces, it'd probably look really awesome. Really, really sexy. Oh, okay, wait. What? <laughs> Uh, Suzumoto, hot Suzumoto, flesh spelled S U uh, W. Okay, you just stop. A cameraman named Taguchi suddenly flipped out the LCD screen of his camcorder and rewinding through footage. Um, what are you doing? Well, I don't want to sound crash, but I've been checking through footage I've captured since coming here to see if her name comes up at all. I tend, to I tend to file a police report when I get back, so I've been gathering information on all the dead kids I found in here. Like from like from their name tags. Bite your tongue. No say such stupid things. My is alright. I knew she is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit. Sorry if it makes you feel any better. I don't see anyone named Suzumoto on the footage. And may I say, you're really fucking sis. You're really fucking disgusting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, I really want to punch you in the fucking face. Whether you're looking for a friend or not, you really seem to put all your in... All, you're all into searching that body, you know? You're the one taking video of corpses. Uh, yeah, and you're taking pictures of them, too. Haha, <laughs> well, being a cameraman is kind of strange that way. As long as I'm looking at them through a finder, it's all just business for me. But if I try to look at them with my bare eyes, I freeze up. It's a famous story of a from about a battlefield cameraman whose camera broke while he was out on the job. And he literally started crying like a baby. Like a little bitch. Yeah, I see. That makes complete sense. Is that is that why Mushrugi starts doing it? or I don't, I don't know. Probably. You're not too interested in any of this, are you? I do have a tendency to rub my mouth sometimes. Nah, no, it was always scolding me. A dirty whore. Hey, I know. I always just our companions together. What do you say? Fuck you! Yay! <laughs> Push them down a hole. That's what you get for talking back, talking smack to me. I didn't say anything. No, I'm sorry, I appreciate the offer, but I prefer prefer to search alone for the time being. I need to get in your way, after all. <laughs> you know what? I, normally, if this were anybody else, I'd be like, "You fucking idiot!" You should go with them. But you know what, Mr. Rige, you're right. You should go by yourself. Go and get yourself horribly, brutally murdered. Hopefully, Yoshikazu comes in and just smashes your fucking face in. Like, I'm. Like, hell, I'm gonna tag along with a motor mount like this. They use my elder, so I'd have to mind my manners, which I'd really rather not to. Because I'm such a fucking piece of shit. Oh, okay. Well, uh, then how will we arrange to meet again? We'll see high EMFs in here or something, because nothing can keep time in this damn place. But save. Should we try meeting up after an hour, give or take? I mean, we should both count ourselves lucky to run into another living being, and I'm sure an exchange of info must sound good to you too, no? Yeah, alright, whatever. I don't give a shit. Okay, it's settled then. Alright, try not to die. See ya! Yeah, what a weenie. Okay. Uh, do you have a name tag? Noriko Moharu. Ah, oh, that took my darkening up. Son of a bitch. Stupid. Jump down that hole, Mr. Rige. Looks like there's something in there. But no, it's too dangerous to climb down. I'll have to keep an eye out for some kind of rope. Come on, grow a pair. Just, just go down there. Just leap right into that fucking hole. See what happens. Yeah, 
Man, I go to the locker room. Maybe there are girls getting naked in there. <laughs> Even if they're zombie and dead. Oh shit. Ooh. Hello. It's the most recently deceased corpse. Clothing and general body mass suggest she was a junior high school girl in life. Basically, the height of the shower head and the positioning of the body appears to have been suicide. New text, but dirty. Han Hanoka Naj Nanjo. What you got there, Hanoka? There's a note near the body, neatly folded three times. Oh, shit. The four of us killed Mr. Goto. Damn it, I knew they killed him. I guess he must have been a real jerk. Talk to Roka, Arisa, and Arika. We decided there was no other choice. You may be a nice man, but it was only a matter of time before that changed in here. It's hard to trust anyone in a place like this. Nobody! Trust nobody! And now the deed is done. Roko and the others have started second guessing themselves. Now they're dead too. And I'm all alone. What? How did they. Did you murder them? Or did they get killed by ghosties or something? There's nothing to eat, and I'm starving. So I tried eating rats and cockroaches. But that just gave me severe diarrhea. And I just was pooping all over the place. Everywhere and everywhere I went. Every step I took was just another pile of poo. Yeah, this is getting kind of gross. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> Even for me, who loves seeing dead people, duty was still kind of gross. <laughs> My lips were dried out, and I lost a lot of weight. So I decided to kill myself before the ghost kids or that hammer-wielding man get me. Hey, it's me. I got mentioned. Woo! This is so special. Uh. Shut up, Yoshikazu. Uh, okay, so let's go. After all this, I finally realized the time I spent with Mr. Goto and Roku and the others was the best time of my life. Except, you know, except when we were murdering him, because... <laughs> Although that, that did help bring us together a bit more, I think. Goodbye, Dad, Mom, and all my friends from class. Please don't forget me. Ah. Don't worry, it'll be nice and quick and painless. Uh, no, I don't think so. If you uh, die here, you're gonna experience that for the rest of your the rest of eternity. So, not exactly. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. You're actually the first person here I've seen actually hang themselves. Usually, we have uh, the friends do it to each other. Holy shit! This is some crazy. Whoa, that was that was a weird loop there. It was a crazy music. Okay, what do we got now? Extremely decay course. This is the uniform and tall structure. This is a senior high school boy. Kiyomasa Kage. It's the same, oh, same person. Oh shit, if I look at it again, it goes up again. Let's just keep looking at that dead body. This is Gawain from remains of student. He's not wearing any sort of uniform per se, but his build suggests he was probably male. Reiki Nagishi. What is he wearing? Uh, okay. Anything in the pool? No. Yeah, Tuesday's not here yet. I think this probably hasn't been an hour. Oh. Am I actually really doing it? I thought it was just gonna be like, fuck you, I don't care. It's a fairly fresh corpse. Looks to be a junior high school girl. Her eyeballs have been slashed horizontally with a thin razor-like blade. Yeah. As it, and as if to complement this, the arteries in her wrist seem to have been slashed vertically with the same blade. This is most likely the cause of death. Arisa Kaida. Oh, that was uh, one of her friends. So I guess did she kill herself too. It's a notebook. Mr. Goto changed when we came here. Not just his attitude and the way he speaks, but his looks too. He, it's like he thinks the, he's the king of the castle, being the only adult and the only man. He used to be so nice. I don't want him to. I, I don't want him to beat me. Whoa! It's like a patting on the head and hugging him, and then he thanks me. Wait, so he started beating them? Is it? Or is he just? What? Yeah, is Mai's corpse gonna be over here? Form raised. Locked and won't frozen in place can't be open. Guess not. Unless it's up here somewhere. Up. Uh. Shit, don't look at me. Am I hearing things now? 
Oh, she down here somewhere? Where are you at? Who was it that took my class longbow from the reference room? Don't get mad, just give it back. Give it back, you little bastard! There's some straw paper in the drawer. It's a photocopied handout. It's got a picture of an ass on it. The class logbook is our memory. If you've all gone to the next grade, I'll make sure I take good care of it. Okay. There's a piece of paper hastily taped to the glass door. Return the class logbook or I will fuck you up! I'm getting angry! Do you want to be killed? Holy shit. Was that Mr. Goto, maybe? Being his little crazy self. Aww. Mr. Goto! In here, Mr. Goto. Seems to be a school newsletter of some sort. That's your training day. To prevent accidents, always be aware of your surroundings. Look before you act. Yeah, what does he mean? I always pay. Oh no, my glasses! Oh no! Oh god, I'm fucked now. Yep, yeah, I can't even see. I can't even see my freaking hand. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh god, is that someone breathing on my neck? That'd be the best ending ever. Oh, hello. Wow, this room looks really, really familiar. There's a whole line of milk bottles here. Each one filled with a muddy, unidentifiable liquid. Ew, was that milk? No, it's my ghostly semen. Ew! 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 Shut up, you're the one taking pictures of that dead people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. A request from Nurse Shinazaki. We refer receive these furnishings. Let's try to keep them clean. Let's try let's take good care of our school environment. Oh, that's right, the mom was a nurse. Okay. I can go to a lot of places in this, this building. There's a half rotted corpse brought across the ground. This used to be Juno High School boy. Osamu Murata. Is this the one in the classroom's candles? I guess that means she's okay. It's like the first time I actually came across one of those candles from like, the same as before. Oh, there's a twisted length of wire inside. Which seems to be busted out, so it should be easy enough to pull out. You never know when this might come in handy. Maybe I should take it with me. Sure, take it. Stick up your butthole while you're at it. Yeah, it can't hurt to have this on hand. Yeah. The zombie, the freaking monster works up. You stole my piece of wire! Arr! Yeah! Arr! yeah. <laughs> Seriously, can there even be a wrong, wrong ending for for Mr. Ye? I think anything that ends with him dying is just a great ending. It's a class newsletter. Though this particular issue seems to be a little more than a rough photocopy of an article from the new paper. The only thing distinguished from the original printing is a single line at the top saying, May, this tragedy never occur within these walls again. It's actually been one week since the horrific incident at Heavenly Host. Uh, I feel like this is, this is the thing we've read eight million times, right? Uh... Have PTA volunteers have been asked to take it turns keeping watch over all the main roads, elementary schools in Japan, blue de blue. We three victims rest in peace. We learned a better something. Okay, I'm sorry, that's we've read that eight hundred million times before we always end up starting. Or maybe it's this room, uh, whatever. Ew, look, Lenny letters. Let's read them. Sure says something really special. The message permanently carved into the blackboard, as if with a nail. Look like a nail. Why? Why? What did I do to deserve this? God damn it, it's all his fault. He's the one who made us do that ritual. Friends forever. Look where that got us. You do it, fuck! Here's, he's in here somewhere, too. If I see him, I'm going to kill him. I swear I'll do it! I'll make it as if I'm hugging him, like I'm so happy to see him again. Now wring his filthy neck until I break his trachea. And then I'll curse him. Forever. 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 Yeah, that was sort of weird. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of funny posters here. Teach me a lot about murdering people. I'm gonna take all these life lessons to heart when I leave here. I'll become the best serial killer anyone's ever seen. God, I really hope there's not anything out in these hallways, like important items, like in the last one. Because seriously, there's so many places to go, I don't want to have to go around each hallway trying to find stuff. You're being watched right now. Yeah, okay, wait, really? 
you're being watched. I don't know. You sure about that? Yes, I, I see you. I'm staying behind you. Pouring ketchup on your head. You know, is that what that is? Oh, okay. This is just written here in shock. He's right here, right behind you. Oh, fuck me. Don't turn around, because if you do... Don't! Stop talking in my ear, man. <laughs> turn around! This isn't turning around, right? Oh, God. If you have headphones on, that shit is like... Ugh. Let me look around in my chair. My reflection in the filthy window, barely visible in the faint line of school, looks almost ethereal. As if I'm just a ghost myself. Yeah, look at me! There's an inordinary, inordinately large number of dead bugs inside. I want to read that message again. I'm not sure if I got it correctly. Wait, who's behind me? You stupid idiot! Uh, okay, so... Let's go this way. I can't imagine I can get through this door. Some feeling dread came overcame me. I stopped in my tracks, began surveying my surroundings. It's dangerous beyond this point. The, the covered walkway up ahead shouldn't even be here. Yeah, well, now this is a surprise. Am I thinking human spirit? Or is it another more than pure hallucination? From all those drugs I snorted on, from <laughs> I got from Yush Yoshiki. Upon that musing, the spirit vanished from sight. Beware! Beware! The sense that I was being watched remained. There was a covered walkway beyond this heavy iron door. A covered walkway that wasn't supposed to be here, evidently. Did I dare challenge it? Well, seeing as that was a blue ghost, I uh, probably... Well, I mean, I can't go that way for some reason. It won't let me. Open... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess that was a bad idea. That's a bad idea. So, let's go over here, then. Let's check out one of these freaking areas. Yeah, these classrooms all look the flipping same. All using the same exact background. I've lost any stationary goods inside, like a rusty paper clips and beat up staplers. Not one of them seems usable or functional. Except for fuck, I missed it. Can I go back? I should take this with me. Oh, kite string. Okay, sure, take it. Strafe kite string. Woohoo! Time to whip out your MacGyver skills, Mr. Ike. Some. Seems as good as new. Might as just come in handy. Aren't you forgetting something? Be careful on your way home. Shut up, Boaster. You be careful on your way home. What'd you say to me? I will fucking paper cut you. <laughs> okay, can I go down here or something now? Take a bit of ingenuity to get whatever is out of that hole. Yeah, I can rig something up with this wire and kite string. Let's do it. If I were to bend this wire into the shape of a fishing hook and attach it to the kite string, I thought, then maybe I'd bring whatever it was down there. Probably wasn't too heavy. Oh god, it's a dead person. Well, it's not exactly professional green, like a fishing rod. But here goes nothing. MacGyver machine. Yeah, I got it. Not a lot of resistance either. It must not be that heavy. Quickly pulled up the line. Damn! Whatever it was fell off the hook before I could bring it back up. Yeah, I guess I didn't bend it tightly enough. Maybe go quicker to lower myself down the hole after after all. That would be also be far more reckless course of action. I'm just not sure what to do. Uh let's just try fishing it out again, dipshit. Same alternatives usually the better. Even if it is a general annoyance, and eh. for some freaking patience. I got it again. I'll be much more ginger about this time. Be okay, pulling the line slowly and steadily. Try my heart not to shake any more than I had to. Yeah, I got it. Finally pulled up from below. It was a small notepad. Flipped it over in. It's a student ID, ID book from Kissing Riding Academy. Is that no, that's Naomi's, isn't it? Oh no, it's Mayu's. Mayu? It's Mayu's! No! Did she fall into this pit? Mayu! That's right, she left it down there. Mayu, are you there? Mayu, Mayu! Uh, I'm a zombie, but... You're not Mayu. Oh, oh, you got me. You got me. I was... Oh, God. <laughs> you really suck at impressions. Shut up. I'm a ghost. I can still fuck you up. 
Not a single sound of indication of movement. Maybe she wasn't down there after all. I don't see an indication of a person down there. Maybe she just dropped her student ID. That would be the best case scenario. Without even realizing, I found myself gripping my student ID tightly, squeezing in between my hands repeatedly as if to verify its existence. I feel like her ID had been entrusted to me. I absolutely had to get it back to her. It was now my mission. Hey, I'm on a mission from God. Mayu, I'm worried about you. If you've been injured... No, I must think like that. I'm the constant I want lies ahead. Mushering get away! For now, I'll just consider this proof that Mayu is definitely on in here somewhere. If I look for her long enough, I'm sure we'll meet again. Mushurige powers, activate! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess Taguchi's back, right? I mean... Well done. Right, another earthquake. Is this willing to survive this kind of abuse? Really? Taguchi's not here yet. I guess it hasn't pro probably hasn't been an hour. Oh, okay. Oh, alright, now we're going someplace else. Oh, we're back to Fukuroi and Tsuki. What the hell is with these earthquakes? Fuck, fuck if I know. But in any case, everything seems to be, seems to have shifted by now. All the holes and cracks in the wall and floor have changed position. Fuck all right, I'm scared. Calm yourself. Try not to let it get to you. What happened to the non, no nonsense Masuka we all know? Eh. <laughs> My, my, I need me. Uh, did you hear somebody screaming? Nope, just sound like a weenie to me. Come on, Fugger, let's see who it is. Me, me. Damn it, she's so, she's so impulsive. She's such a dirty whore. A dirty, dirty whore. Mursuki. I I'm so sorry. You're not her, are you? Oh, you just grabbed my boobs. Oh, no, no, I'm just fine. Sorry, I didn't see you. No, it was my fault. I wasn't really where my name was going. The girl I re I'd just run into was wearing a school uniform I hadn't encountered before. I stand next to her was a boy who had a halfway irritated look on his face. Just before offering the girl a hand anyway. He was wearing a school jacket, she was not. So I could tell for certain, but they definitely came across as classmates, or at least schoolmates. You're from another school, it seems. Are you alone? Sangatara Mishirige, 11th grade at Kisaragi Academy, and school nerd, and creeper. Well, and we're in the same grade. My name is Masato Fukuroi, 11th grader at Byakuten High, and this is... Mitsurigi, I'm Moto. Pleased to meet you. Sakatura is really a grandiose name. It's like the something out of a classic Japanese literature. Yeah, I've been teased about it all my life. Makes me want to kill. No, oh, you're funny, Mitsurigi. I can tell we're going to be best friends. I'm sorry to me like that. I actually think it's pretty cool. Masuki, you shouldn't say much force things the first time you meet someone. No cause problems from Mitsurigi. They want to murder us later. No, it's all right. Say, Robin Shurike. Hmm. Oh, you seem kind of—I don't know. Down. Though I guess if you're if you were all bright and cheery in a place like this, that would be kind of disturbing. I oh, know. I, I assure you, I'm fine. I'm just looking for someone. That's all. Oh, you too. We also got separated from our friends. I've been looking all over for them. Who is it you're looking for? Classmate of mine, my use of the is her name. She's small as a statue, but her personality can lap a room. Ah, uh, right. This is her right here. So I'm remembering that I fished her student ID out of that pit I withdrew from my pocket and showed it to the few students. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't seen her. How about you, Mitsuki? Same here. Sorry, can't, can't be more help. It's quite alright. The student ID proves to me that she's in here somewhere. I'll find her on my own. By yourself isn't that dangerous? It's okay. I'm really a pretty badass person. I can take on any ghost here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're welcome to join us if you'd like. Well, such the school as well, after all. We can help you look for the Suzumoto girl along the way. 
I don't like people. Well, now I'm at a loss. If we were a machine and the others, that'd be one thing. But these two are total strangers. They seem like nice enough people, though. This Fukuro in particular seems to have a good head on his shoulders. And they don't come off as obnoxious. Make me want to kill them. Infusing would present problems all on its own. <laughs> I guess. I don't know, man. Okay, then let's work together. So, where do we go from here? You go down this hole! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Somebody else died. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, he uh, pushed me down this hole, too. <laughs> Stop pushing people down holes! This is Barda! Okay, well. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here for now. Ah, oh, good. Look at Mystery Gate making friends. He's probably gonna kill him later. I... Ah. God damn it, Mystery Gate. Okay, anyway. Like it for if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now to Hot Boy the CLP. The days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.